Hello and welcome back to the channel again. So today I want to try something a little bit different. As you can see I've got something patched already and it's kind of spread across um, two cases here. So I wanted to just uh, sort of give a demo of this patch that I've come up with and then I'll just try and break it down and just show um, how I'm using different voices here. Uh, but basically I've got some drums as usual. Uh, the Fracture is also giving a little bit of rhythm here. But then my main voices are Persimilis on bass, chord on uh, main chord leads, and the Ataraxic providing some uh, some kind of extra high high end effects. So what I'll do is I'll just demo this first so you can get a feel for how it sounds, and then I'll break down each of the voices just so you can see where the modulation is coming from and and just how important that sort of thing is in a modular setup. Uh, we've got um, the two modulation points, if you're interested as we go through, are obviously the mimetic here with lapsus, which is giving us plenty of modulation on basimilis, and it's also giving us some stuff on ataraxic. And then I've also this time got the voltage block involved, uh, which is um, giving us uh, stuff here on the fracture, but it's also providing stuff elsewhere on the patch. But I'll try and go through that a bit later. Okay, so uh, let's get started. We'll go through a quick... Um, a rundown of, of what this sounds like and then I'll break it down.
Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so let's go through a little bit of a rundown here then. So we'll start with the baseline and I'll show you how the baseline's been um, made up here. So let's just make sure everything is turned down. Uh, just start the clock and I'll just bring in the baseline. Okay, so for Simulus here, we've got um, four points of modulation, three coming from Mimetic, one going around the back here into the voltage block. So what I've been doing here is I've got a few safe points. I've got this fairly harsh sounding one and then a slightly less, it's a little bit smoother that one. So the breakdown here is that, let's just pull all of these out. First of all, let's just bring the attack in so you can see what I was doing as I bring in the hats. So I've got this, I've got this um, just for a second. So there's our basic Basimilus. High attack, gives no hit. Short attack, gives the hit. Only when the filter's open, so we can tame that off with the filter. What I was doing is I was opening up the filter and then I was playing this. Now, if I bring in the attack coming from the voltage block, that's giving us a little bit of a, a hat pattern there. So I can take them out, bring them in. So that's what I was doing there. Then we've got, um, let's just get rid of that. And then I had a bit of decay here. Now this is very subtle, but it's just slightly opening up the decay there, um, just to give us slightly longer uh, bass notes. And then most of the actual sound modulation is coming from this morph. And the fold. All together. So because I'm on this setting here, which is a bit harsh, I tend to have the filter shot go to the slightly softer sounding one which has got a little bit less of the morph from the fold. Can open that one up a bit more. And then finally what I did was bring in um, this harmonic which just gives us almost like a chord that's playing off um, here. So that tends to sound better on its own. Bring in a bit of harmonic there and they play off each other quite well okay so that's the basimilis uh, let's just go as I was doing there let's go on to the uh, cubic chord here this is just very simple it's just a standard minor chord And just to increase the stereo width I've got a ping pong going on in Ableton that you can probably just hear there because don't really have enough room here to put on the effects. Um, but there is, um, when I've got the Mimia phone up, that brings that in. Uh, not much really to say about this other than I just, all I've done is tune it, chosen a bank, um, just tuned it against the bass. And then the ataraxic up here. It's just giving some effects. Got the filter down. So I can just bring those effects in with the carbon here. As usual, the Aceract 6 teamed up with the Javelin and the carbon. Uh, getting gate sequence here, so you can see on this last step, we're getting um, a little bit more, so we've got like a pause there on that last step. So that's the voice here, Aceract with those three. And the chord obviously needs its own Envelope VCA, so that's using the second javelin here that I recently got. Um, and rather than pairing that with the carbon, the carbon's going out with Basimilis here. So that's pretty much it. Three voices, bass line. Effects. 
Mm. League Court. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'm not going to go into this one in too much detail. You've seen this before. There's a ton of cables going on here with clocks, so Pans is my main clock. Um, if I can just bring this onto screen, maybe. There's my master clock spider, which is going into here, here. Um, where else is it going? It's going into the mimeophone, it's going into the dot. It's going into the variegate, which is giving some gates here for the fracture, and it's going into the voltage block. So there's a lot of clock and reset. So everything, you'll see everything reset back to the beginning. It's going back to the beginning. Variegate's going back to the beginning voltage block, just so I get consistency there. So yeah, clocks do take up a lot of space. Um, I prefer using these spiders rather than buffered molts because I can just keep them all out of the way. So right, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll just play out a little bit here. And um, yeah, uh, that's my midweek video. Um, probably do a, another patch from scratch at the weekend when I've got a bit more time. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.